the case is so thin that it will even go inside my old case. All right, those of you guys who know me, I'm not a big case user for phones, but I have ran into one that's called the Pitaka, which is a genuine Aramid case, which they claim to be the slimmest and lightest case in the world. Now, I'm going to read a little bit in the back. It says a real Aramid, and by now you probably thought to yourself, what's an Aramid? I guess we'll both find out in a little bit. Slim profile, lightweight, scratch resistant, durable, and no signal interference. So let's just do the quick, simple unboxing here. Wow. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. I don't think there's going to be anything extra in there. I feel like I need to sneeze. <laughs> it's like non-reflective, which is really nice. You won't see any harsh lighting. It looks really good. It looks like carbon fiber. Even feels like it would be. So again, going back to how I never liked cases, there is an exception to using cases of course there's reasons to but i've never really liked them but i do use a poetic case this is my first case that i've ever had on a phone and kept it on i've always been using my phones just naked because just i love the the look the feel and everything but this phone is very fragile and very slippery i don't want to risk breaking it since it's an expensive phone so i do want to add some protection to it because that way i can just throw it on the table so obviously when you have a nice phone you're not gonna toss it on the table you're gonna gently set it i thought to myself what if i can find a case that is even thinner and i found one now this is definitely not going to be protection for drops this is for setting on tables and not scratching your phone and we can see inside here it says compatible with a magnetic mount i couldn't get the magnetic mount because it wasn't available but I might get it because it has little metal portions in here. This is clearly not meant for it, especially with that little plastic part. It's not going to let the full magnet contact it. So I'm surprised that it actually wants to stay on it. So this is a poetic case. And you can see that I've been rocking them on all three phones. My iPhone 7, LG G6, and the Galaxy S8. This is even thinner than these, which I'm a fan of naked phones. And this is going to be the closest thing to a naked phone. And we're going to put it on the Daily Driver Galaxy S8. It doesn't have too much flex. It's a very hard case. I am going to start from the top. And there we go. Slap that in. Oof. Now that really makes it look like I don't have a case and look at the back of it very cool very slim I can just tell how much slimmer it is without my poetic case here so here it is from the front you can barely tell there's the case on it now what is it protecting it's literally not really protecting anything on the sides. so if it does hit on the sides if you drop it it looks like it is gonna hit the glass the buttons are clear it does kind of have a match to the button so you do have to get used to pressing these power button is still there it's it's gotten a little bit flush so you can't really see the power button or feel it it really does round the phone and then the bottom portion has all the cutouts so nothing's going to be covered and here's the top microphone is clear so we're good now this is scratch resistant so now i can still set the phone down now as far as protection for the corners we can see that it does wrap up a little bit on the glass it's not going to be total protection as you can see there's still vulnerable spots if it ever does drop if you don't drop phones often then this case is going to be enough to not have to super baby this phone definitely see myself using this case instead of the poetic i have no hate against this case it's been wonderful it does feel like i'm holding a much more delicate phone again the poetic case is definitely more protection but this is extremely tight i really need just a little bit of corner protection and being able to set it down like that without having to feel like I'm gonna be scratching anything on the glass so when it comes to reselling because I always resell my tech and of course to buy the next best thing you need to resell some old old stuff I can't store everything I, you gotta spend money to make money but yeah you guys get my drift I love showcasing stuff like this to help you guys pick your best next thing but there you guys have it if you're a fan of this kind of style if you want super thin case I just wish I had had the mount to mount it on maybe you have a certain magnet you want to use for your car mount this case is already meant to have something ready for it all right it's been weeks now since I had this case and you guys know that I'm a fan of minimalistic or no cases at all like I barely this year started liking a case it took me a little getting used to with the little sides here that they're not fully covering the edges 
but I don't even feel that anymore. It feels natural. I actually prefer this minimal compared to my last case. It was thin, but this is even thinner. It almost feels like a skin. It's holding up very well. I have not dropped this phone because it has a little bit of a grip and I don't feel like I have to gently set it down because it's on a glass. I don't really drop it, but if I do, it does have protection on the bottom enough to not have to damage it. Scuff it up in that sense. Final thoughts. I love it. It looks cool. Definitely worth it. So for sure now, my next purchase, since I love the case, is going to be this little car mount because I don't like sitting on the cup holder anymore. And even though you might not have the Galaxy S8, they have it for the iPhone, they have other phones out there. So definitely go check them out on the website. Yes, it is a little expensive, but the slim profile, the lightweight, it's scratch resistant. I don't see any scratches on this at all. The link will be in the description, also in the comments for you to go check it out. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.